All right, so we're going to be talking about fucking social media. We're going to be talking about. We're going to start off with with the the whole block versus the uh, mute debate right now. Of course, Elon Musk uh, threatening or you know, I don't know threatening or fucking basically saying that he's going to be taking away the block button or the block feature on uh, the X app. And then we're also going to be kind of going in, you know, some other. Uh, the, the future of of the internet and social media and stuff like that you know talking about uh, uh anonymity online we're going to be talking about um as a possible internet bill of rights and what that may look like uh, we're going to be just kind of a uh, you know theorizing over the the future of the internet but let's get started with the, the block versus mute so jeff what's your, what's your take on whether or not he should remove the block button my personal take is I don't give a shit one way or another uh, from a, uh, you know, a more pragmatic stance. Uh, I don't see a problem with it. Um, uh, most people from what I've gathered, their problem is uh, a privacy issue. Like if I don't want this motherfucker in my life. How can they see what the fuck is in my life? It's because you put it on the goddamn internet. So shut up and you're fine. So I don't have a problem with it at all. One way or another. I, I, literally don't have a personal opinion on right as as i already mentioned man fucking i'm blocked by fucking uh uh anomaly actually i think anomaly is the only person that i'm blocked by like, i don't think anybody else has me blocked i think it's literally just anomaly <laughs> 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 but uh but yeah fucking, sure. personally you know I, I don't have a big enough following and i'm really not very active on social media to be honest the only thing i do on social media like if you follow me on, on a on x you know it's, it's gonna take some time to switch from calling it twitter to x but if you follow me on on the x app you'll see that i post maybe once twice a week and it's usually just fucking trolling somebody talking some shit or fucking saying some really outrageous fucking extremist type shit just uh just to troll people you know that that's about the extent of my of my social media presence so when it comes to to me blocking people, I don't give a shit. If anybody responds to me, cool. It's better for me. If whether it's positive or negative, I don't give a shit. It's it's all good for me, you know. But uh, so personally, I I don't I don't care. I don't you know I don't have enough of a following to to actually worry about having like stalkers or any shit like that, you know. So it's not not that big of a deal to me. Um, but when it comes to block versus mute, so when it comes to blocking somebody versus muting somebody so with, with muting somebody it's it's basically the the digital equivalence of putting some ear plugs in and just you know can't hear you la 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 you know when it comes to blocking somebody it's just the equivalent of putting duct tape over their mouth you know to make you feel better you know like okay you're hearing some annoying sounds plug your fucking ears don't you know you don't got to go fucking silence the other person that that's you know just because you don't like what they're having to say just shut them up you know you know <laughs> and that's the whole thing about censorship you know as as we know fucking censorship's coming back to fucking social media we don't need to to continue it you know with with the whole fucking like oh we're blocking all this and that shit and especially you know uh as we see there's there's been a controversy here and there lately when it comes to fucking uh actual congressmen blocking their constituents you know <laughs> yeah that happened for years now right right uh again they could press the mute button you know and it's it's not like they're gonna actually know about it. And either way, when it comes to talking to your fucking congressman, even like, dude, our congressman gets like fucking ten comments on on his shit. You know, sometimes I'll I'll ask him something, dude, still never fucking replies to me. <laughs> like you might as well fucking just be on mute when it comes to talking to your fucking congressman anyway. You know, if it's not a handled right. account that is anyway, it's a, he's even looking at it. I follow all of his fucking accounts. You son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 right. But nah, it, I, don't. Um, I, I don't think you should remove it, man. You know what I mean? Personally, I think that, you know, people should have the ability to block people out of their newsfeed or what have you or be able to post, you know, privately, what have you. Right. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a public figure because it's supposed to be the public square. Like if you're on like obviously you have options of what your account is listed under. Right. Um, you know, pub public figure or, or uh, you know, cre content creator, what have you. And, uh, you know, if you're just a regular ass person, bro, definitely you should be able to block people. You know what I mean? Like, especially chicks. I mean, I'm sure they get, you know, dick pics and harassments on a regular basis. Right. But, um, you know, I mean, as, as far as me, I mean, it's not like I got some huge following on the Twitter zones myself, but, um, you know, I post quite, quite decently, you know, content on there, like videos and whatnot. And um, I might give two shits, bro. I mean, talking shit on it, whatever, that's just boosting 
you know, views, view counts and, you know, people actually, you know, getting in the algorithm, right? But um, I, I think for privacy's sake, you should be able to block people. But, uh, you know, again, public figures, man. No, no, especially congressmen and whatnot. It was Dean Trump couldn't block people by the Supreme Court because it's a public figure. So, well, what, what it when it comes to public figures, does it have to be like public figure of consequence or uh, yeah, public figure of consequence, like say like a congressman or you know, some, a politician of some sort? Or, you know, it's even like fucking like the whole fucking leave Britney alone movement. You know, that was that was kind of a thing. You know, like people, <laughs> celebrities fucking that, you know, just because they. I, I, I'm, the difference between I, I mean, I mean, I mean, like me, right? Mm -hmm. I, I'm nobody, but my shit's listed as a professional account. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I, I shouldn't be able to block people. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I mean, and I don't got shit for a following. Dude. Right. And then I guess if, you know, if you're like a celebrity or something like that, if, you know, you could have your pro your professional account and then just make your fucking personal account. And then if anybody tries to follow you on that, block them, you know? One mm -hmm. thing I can say sticking up for the block and, and uh, Swine made me, made me think of this, though, is uh, I, I personally get blocked multiple times on a daily basis. <laughs> so it's a normal That's part of my life. If somebody was just muting me, I wouldn't fucking know any better. Right. So, you know, if like, if that's I, the, but, but, I but that's, the, that's the point. Not, it, it's not yeah. like, it's not like they're trying to fucking, it's not like they're trying to make it better for trolls. They're trying to make it better for the not trolls to fucking block trolls. You know what right. I mean? I, I know. It's just like, <laughs> that would make life more difficult. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. that, block, apparently, that's, apparently your boy no, Daniel in the comments is feeling you, dude. He said he, he's blocked by a shit ton of flurfers. Right. <laughs> right. But that that's that's the whole thing with the mute button is if you mute somebody, you don't hear them. And they also don't know that you don't hear them. So they're just fucking screaming into the void, you know, screaming at yeah. nothing. So yeah, that's why when that kind of dawned on me is just like, wait a second, that that is not gonna work for me. <laughs> right. And that that's where the whole debate comes into play. It's the block versus mute button, and that's that's you know that's why I say fucking you could put in earplugs, but I don't think you should have the fucking the ability to to silence somebody, especially because you know fucking it's it's if you block somebody, then they can't even comment on on your shit at all, which means that nobody else would get to hear your comedic gold. Just because they don't get to fucking hear your bullshit doesn't mean that everybody else reading right. the comments right. won't see your your stuff. They just won't be able to hear you, you know. And in which case, if it, if you actually have a very good point that maybe nobody else is saying, maybe somebody else could could see that, and then they'll just fucking re, you know reiterate it so that way they actually do you know see the comment. It's just not coming from you. Daniel in the and comments says, uh, cre uh, cre "The uh, the block creates an echo chamber, man." But uh, personally, I think you know. Uh, everybody is tends to be in echo chambers anyway even if you have a blind spot man i mean you know even myself dude i i, I tend to gravitate more towards right-leaning media and whatnot you know what i mean mm -hmm. so yeah like i don't know i i like to i don't know, I, I guess i i like to to gravitate toward right-wing stuff but i don't know when I, when I don't do the, the echo chamber thing, like lately on, on X, I've been mainly just scrolling my uh, my follows uh, list rather than the for you, just because sometimes just follow, it, it it really does like almost give me headaches, you know, like going, mm -hmm. like seeing people's fucking stupidity, like is it just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it really does fucking sometimes just give me headaches. Sometimes yeah, sometimes I, I would like to be in an echo day chamber. Day too. It's like, is this a good day to be looking at this shit? And then you'll get on there and be like, okay, I, I, I ain't got to take this in right now. This is, this is a junk food. Right. And, but then, <laughs> then again, that also does just point to the fact that like, if you don't want to see something, it's, you don't have to fucking like, you know, I don't have to fucking block every single fucking lefty that's, that's on a, you know, Twitter, just because I don't feel like, you know, listening to their bullshit, I'll just scroll over to the other tab. Like, they should practically name them, like, you know, fucking shit fucking creek or, you know, shitsville and fucking echo chamber, you know? And like, if I could, you know, mm -hmm. they should name the two tabs for that, you know, just fucking, where you just see every fucking crazy, like, all the, you know, shit that they happen to, to feed you, even people that you don't fucking follow and shit. You know, that's it's basically, they should call that the fucking, the, the battle zone or the fucking battlefield, you know? And then fucking just back to fucking back to your safe space, back to home plate. <laughs> you know, but again, there, there's so many other ways that you could get con that you could tailor your feed to where it's what you want to see. And then you, again, you could just, if you don't want to hear some people that, you know, co constantly comment on your shit that fucking, you know, or just there to talk shit, mute them and you won't fucking hear them. You know, it's basically the, the whole idea of, you know, if you don't like what you're seeing, fucking change the damn channel, you know?
Yeah. And uh, in the comments, uh, the guy says, Reddit's an extreme example of that shit with the bands and the commies and the flat earthers are the two that he's got his crosshairs on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got fucking flat earthers. Like, like it's weird because like a lot of the other like type of rhetoric and stuff, like I'll be like getting along with them and shit. I'll be like, yeah, dude, like, cool, cool. Like, fuck yeah, fuck the government. You know, like, yeah, they ruin everything. And they'll be like, yeah, and the earth is flat. And I'm like. You lost me, dude. <laughs> like, all right, sorry, man. I don't. I don't agree with you anymore. Like, <laughs> that, that, that's when you were talking about before. You were talking about uh, some self doubt as far as um. You're like sometimes you question, am I the one that's fucking brainwashed? You know what I mean? Right. And that's when someone said, like, they're you're agreeing with them, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, do we live under a dome? You're like, fuck, dude. Am I all fucked up, bro? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 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 Sometimes you do have to sit there and ask yourself, man, like, am I the crazy one? But the good thing, though, I have if you ask, if you, personally, so if you're, if you're capable of asking yourself, am I the crazy one? You're not the crazy one, you know, like that's, that's basic good rule of thumb to go by. You know, if you're able to actually sit there and self-evaluate every here and there, you're probably doing okay. You know, I don't know, man, because they say the crazy don't know they're crazy. So, right. That's <laughs> Yeah, and they also do tend to think that everybody else is crazy. I guess there, there's different degrees, you know. There's fucking, uh, you know, like like uh, antisocial personality disorder. They say that that's a fucking bad thing. Not necessarily. I'd say I'd say that's a fucking good thing. Those are, that's fucking most entrepreneurs. That's fucking mostly you know hardcore fucking businessmen. That's basically if you're a fucking like hardcore objectivist, you you have antisocial personality disorder. If you're in the fucking libertarian party you most likely have fucking antisocial personalities, you know, like <laughs> it's, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing, you know, like, in, but then there's also the other extreme opposite, you know, which would be like fucking two would, would be the opposite of antisocial personality. So I guess multiple personality fucking disorder or fucking, uh, uh, this basically fucking the whole leftism where you were. I'm an empath, bro. You know, like I could fucking feel the other. I could feel the fucking blackies' plight. You know, that's why I need to stand up and be social justice warrior because those people are too weak to stand up for themselves. So they need a strong white person, liberals like me, to stand up for them. Like you know, mm -hmm. as there's that fucking that's the other fucking opposite, fucking a uh, extreme of the the personalities disorder. Or, uh, that's that's what it'd be fucking um histrionic fucking personality disorder where you think that you are the fucking center of the goddamn fucking universe you know but like like you think everybody else worships you in the way like like basically uh, you're a sociopath you know and that's right. and that's you know i guess the the fucking the, the opposite of you know so fucking so i say there, there's varying degrees of crazy you know that's why if you're able to fucking ask yourself, am I crazy? And then actually sit there and objectively kind of look at yourself and, you know, kind of reevaluate and stuff. You're, you're probably not, you're probably somewhere within the, the middle realms, you know, unless you can have that, that moment of clarity, that self-awareness and tell yourself, you know what, I, that is kind of fucked up. I should work on that. But then you just can't fucking help it because you're terrible. So <laughs> you're probably still fucked up. <laughs> Daniel in the comments said that's called main character syndrome, man. You know what I mean? Right. But um, to get to get back to uh, the subject, dude, about uh, the block thing, what, what, what another reason that I think you should be able to block is like you pointed out, censorship is not only coming back to the Twitter zones, but hasn't left a lot of the other social media platforms. And um, if they can censor you, fuck. I mean, if I could get censored, why can't I censor this retard off my fucking feed? And I don't mean just like mute them like you're saying, well, you won't see them. I don't even want them interacting with my people, bro. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And again, I, I don't block people. I, you know what I mean? Like I said, negative shit or positive shit on my stuff is just elevating my shit. But, um, you know, as far as like the average person's concerned, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's either it's either we're censored or it's it's free speech absolutionists like we thought was going to happen, man. Well, that that's so. what that's why I think fucking Twitter should be that place, you know? See, if you if you want something tailored to where if I can, you know, like, no, I don't even want you to be able to, you know, know that I have a profile, you know, I don't want you to even be able to see who's on my friends list, nothing like that. There's a place for that. It's called Facebook, you know, but as, as per like, like Twitter, you know, <laughs> if it's the public square, it's the public square, you know, like you fucking better grow right. some thick skin or if I can go to Facebook, you know, yeah. <laughs> the public square, you don't like it, go home. Right. Like, or like I said, 
go to the for go to your following page and go to the, only the people that you choose to to fucking see in your feed. You know, you don't have to fucking go to the Royal Rumble every single day that you're in Twitter. It, it's fucking it's nauseating. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if I can, you know, there, there's you know, different, different, you know, realms of of the the public square. I guess you know, that that that's really kind of what what Twitter Twitter should be. You know, especially if as as you know, Elon said he's he's about free speech. That's that's what fucking Twitter needs to be. It's the public square. It needs to be about free speech. Like I say, if you don't want to hear somebody, you know, like you don't have to listen to what I have to say, but you ain't gonna shut me up. You're not gonna stop me from saying it. You know. He says that, but then he brings in fucking Janet Yasserino, who brings right. in her colleague from fucking CBS. That was that's a known, you know, a Trump censor. You know what I mean? And, and for paid ads, even shit that you know the Trump campaign paid to air, he was you know he was over there censoring. And um, you know she's already rolling out that we know the lawful but awful man. You know what I'm saying? And basically letting you know I run this platform. Elon doesn't. He's reduced to a fucking tech role at this point. So smell later, dude, and uh, you know we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Election cycles heating up, man. We'll see how it goes, especially with Trump making you know a comeback, right? But he might not stay on either. After he posted that shit, he went on Truth and said, uh, you know, it's it, this is my home. So you know, is is that is that saying I'm not? I was just you know gaining merch there, funding legal shit. Am I staying on Truth or on being like a regular on there again? Um, right. It was, you know, it was a slap in the face because, hey, everybody, yeah, it was his merch store for sure. He wanted to make sure everybody on there knew. I can, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know about, I don't know about how the the uh, the the fucking whole reaction would go if he was back on Twitter like like he is on on Truth. You know, I think it'd be it'd be far too polarizing. In I think it would re fester the hate that that the lefties have for for Trump. You know, you like like we just said, you know, if I could with this whole mugshot thing, that's really kind of pulling a lot of, of support from him where you would have never expected it from, you know, and uh, I, I thought the lefties were going to like Trigley Puff or Mastodon or whatever. Right, right. <laughs> there's, a, there's a new one every week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you motherfuckers ain't going nowhere. You're fucking addicted. Your asses are mine. I'm pretty sure that's what Elon says every <laughs> single day that he signs into fucking X and he sees one of those. We're going to Mastodon's like, yeah, you'll be back. <laughs> right. We're going to Petadon, dude. Right. <laughs> Dig through his couch cushions so he can buy Mastodon. Yeah. Right. Dude, you guys come over to fucking bit shoot and rumble, man. You know what I mean? Right. You can spout leftist rhetoric there. You come see what free speech truly boots. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want that though. <laughs> like they, 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 right. they know what free speech is about and they fucking hate it that that's the whole fucking thing that's why they that's why they're the fucking commies that they are that's why they're fucking communists you know right but they haven't seen it again i i you, you don't see free speech on twitters right you know what i'm saying right you don't i mean i i, I remember I, I was banned for an extended period fucking after elon took over and um you know did nothing but post memes and comments and shit and uh i've seen a a, a, a national pulse writer was just suspended for uh, saying that uh, you know you shouldn't be able to kill babies and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you know, there's no free speech. Right. I can after, after your post too, they warn you when you post them. It's just like people aren't gonna like this. You sure you want to do it? <laughs> and if you say yeah, do it anyway. Nobody's gonna see it. So. Right. So real quick, so let's uh, kind of segue real quick. Like uh, another part of the. Uh, of the whole fucking uh, block versus mute debate is the fact that people will just recreate new accounts and new accounts and new accounts and new accounts, which brings up the question of internet anonym anonymity. Like in the, uh, a few months back, maybe it was a year ago. I don't, I don't remember if I can have a terrible stoner memory, but a while back fucking, um, um, Jordan Peterson was talking about fucking you shouldn't be well oh you shouldn't be allowed to be anonymous online you know because you know some people they they just uh they they go too crazy and then they they just out there being internet trolls and you gotta be accountable for what you say on the internet yeah you know? mm -hmm. uh, anyway like and as we see now that's kind of spiraled into now he has to take internet sensitivity fucking training courses but that's that's besides the point <laughs> but, <laughs> but they're gonna bully that some dude, for right? real 1984 right. shit bro right but but his his thing was fucking that. You shouldn't be able to be anonymous online. 
Like, like at least like completely anonymous. I'm not saying that you got to fucking post your, your address and your fucking birth name and shit like that. But basically you shouldn't be able to have like fucking, you know, 20 different accounts and shit and, you know, all that type of shit. Basically, you know, your, uh, something like your, your IP address or something would, would be specifically to, you know, your account. Like you can't make fucking 10 different accounts on, on, you know, one IP address or something like that, or basically it would make it to more, you know, your, your, uh, your IP address is more like your actual fucking I, you know, internet ID, like in in a more literal well, with sense. With the Twitter yeah. zones, you can. The Twitter zones, you can. If you try to make an alt account, Twitter will ban your shit immediately. You know what I mean? <laughs> and again, I, I've tried. I, I tried to make a separate account from my personal shit, and it, you know, absolutely was like hell no, nah, dude. And but, uh, you know, so that that's the reason I had to turn my personal shit into a creator account. And, and um, to me, it's all right. To, you can be anonymous, if, dude. If you want to be a pudding cup, and you know, I, I you agree. Fake ass keyboards, warriors. Go ahead, dude. Fine. I Plus I agree. In, in a in terms of social media, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I think like when it when it comes to like like extending farther out to the 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 deeper ends of fucking the the world and shit like that. Like, I don't I don't know if I can. Yeah, I, I believe that you should be able to be fucking uh, anonymous, you know, when it comes to like what you're actually searching up and stuff like that. I don't think there should be, you know, fucking, you know, access and data caches and shit like that, that fucking, you know, uh, advertisers and government could fucking get access to. I think you should be able to have a uh, privacy, but when it comes to like, like, I don't, I don't know if I can, I don't really know where I was going with this, but it, you know, the whole fucking uh, <laughs> idea of the internet bill of rights, you know, how would that work unless, yeah. unless you have a, essentially like an internet identification? You know, unless, you know, everywhere that you go online is essentially fucking, you know, tracked like, you know, in the, in the digital sphere and shit like that, you know, like in a, like how, how would you be able to be a, you know, I guess how would they make the internet more of like an actual real place, which we know is, is where it's, it's heading to, you know, it's, it's not going to continue just on, you know, people just tapping on their, on their keyboards and shit, you know, it's, it's going to be or of an and of an actual real place where you you know you have your your life and shit like that and you know hopefully not within our fucking you know life but. that's gonna get really muddy though because because of ai going so out of control already just kind of snowballing exponentially so i think you could have an internet bill of rights and keep anonymity and um because pretty soon you're not gonna even be able to tell who's real anyway all right. Not to mention the real Bill of Rights didn't have anything to do with you being identified. It's just right. you as one of the people. You know what I mean? Like if you're born in this country, you have these fucking rights. And that's, you know, that's it. If you're on the inner zones, you have these rights. It shouldn't matter if it's, you know, the, the personal account you use to talk to Grams or the one that you shit post on fucking, you know, to unload your Sunday memes collections. Right, but I mean, I mean you know. we we know that they're they're not gonna fucking make it like the actual like the Bill of Rights that fucking you know the founding fathers fucking laid for it. They're gonna make a a modern Bill of Rights to where we fucking spare feelings and fucking shit like that. You know, like you you already know it's gonna be a fucking a modern a modern style Bill of Rights where basically you know you you have free speech and stuff like that. You know, like but you don't have anonymity. You know, it's gonna be something like that. Like you have you have your fucking IP address that's basically fucking your mark of the beast will implant it underneath your fucking skin so that way you could fucking you know, so you could check out at places right. you know and and you could go to work in the digital zones and shit like that you know like you know but uh yeah so essentially you're going to have an individual identity online and so if I can you know when it comes down to anonymity like sure you could pick whoever you want to be and stuff like that but essentially it's going to be kind of like you know that's you. You're stuck with that person. You want to remake an account? You got to file fucking 75 different forms with the fucking people, you know, who, who run the fucking, the digital world, you know, the, the, the fucking gatekeepers of the digital world. You got to file fucking 75 different forms with them. And then you got to wait, you know, a couple of weeks, you got to pay a couple fees and then you can change your fucking name. <laughs> it's going to be like, <laughs> like that, you know? Yeah. The problem right. with that though is, uh, the difference between like, you and I compared to a lawyer who is uh, elected into a position. And then when that, that doesn't translate to the internet because people are smarter than these fucking people, you know, they don't even know what they're talking about. You, who exactly would be penning this? It'd probably be the fucking Noel Roths out there and shit. We already know what they want to do. So I don't, I don't think it, I think this all only came up because 
Jordan Peterson loves to get bullied. He just loves it. It's <laughs> right. thing. Can... I think there's quite a few on the inner zones that like to get bullied these days, man. Right. If they weren't crying, they wouldn't have fucking anything else to do. So, so uh, I don't know what other types of things would would you think would be necessary on on a on a bill of rights for the internet? You know, besides you know free I mean, free you, speech, you know, whatever you know. I mean, obviously, there have to be some type of shit involving like commerce and whatnot. You know what I mean? Some type of you know avenue for like a free trade. What whether that's you know because you know the government's not going to let you know them get not no cut. So it's going to have to be some type of base. Like as far as like a tax is concerned, unfortunately, well, you know, I don't support taxes, but it's going to be. But yeah. to me, we got to keep it at a base, like to where you purchase online, you're only going to pay, you know, a certain amount, man. Not fucking where they're trying to adjust it and hire it constantly, like every other tax. And um, you know, then on top of that, man, obviously some type of protection for children, dude, uh, underage, like you're talking about having to, uh, you know, um prove your age or whatnot, dude, definitely there has to be something as far as kids are concerned. There's, there's, you know? there's uh, definitely going to, that's, that's, that's going to be a hard one, dude. And uh, in the comments there, Daniel says a better way to remove revenge porn. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but you know, that's good shit. But, um, you know, and so, it's, you know, as far as that's concerned, some way to protect children and some type of immediate predatory fucking punishment. Like if you're found to be trying to lure children or you're talking to a 13 year old on lines, bro, like, you know, you're, you're getting chemically castrated and, you know, you're not going to a prison. You're going to like a prison work camp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somewhere where tax dollars just aren't going to provide for you. You're going to produce while you're there. Yeah. I mean, a, another, I guess, you know, probably important part would be a, it have to be some sort of fucking guarantees of privacy, you know? Like there, there, yeah. there's that's got to be in there somewhere you know like fucking you have to have your fucking private part of the internet of course you know it's it's going to be you're going to be skeptical about it at first because you know it's at the internet and shit you're like oh you know i was getting my own private cloud to store my fucking bank information and all my personals and all my you know everything about me and all that shit you know it's all going to be stored in my my own personal spot that can only be accessed by me and uh you know of course fucking everyone's going to be fucking skeptical about that so there's got to be some sort of actual like you know right in, enshrined as you know a, a, a enshrined fucking privacy right to where basically you know anybody that happens to break that whether that be within the private sector or you know within the, the you know the government or fucking law enforcement and shit like that without an actual warrant or anything like that there would have to be you know some sort of fucking you know uh uh thing thing to kind of protect you against that so that way they can't you know just fucking uh, oh well you you literally live on the fucking internet so we can access every fucking thing that you ever fucking do ever you know, like you, you, there have to be some sort of a you know, enshrinement of, of like in digital privacy. And like, again, you know, I, I'm not that, that fucking tech savvy, that, you know, so it, I don't really know how that would fucking work, but you know, I'm sure there, there's, you know, smarter minds out there that would be able to figure something out, you know, but you have to go the way of Ian, dude, fucking from Tim, right? It, it, it like a guy in the comment says like a virtual wallet kind of thing. And uh, I could see that like a blockchain, right? Mm -hmm. like, like Ian loves to pump, dude. One of the few things I agree with the man on. But yeah, dude, I think blockchain could do that for you. You know what I mean? As far as privacy concern, it's going to encrypt all your personal information and whatnot. You know what I mean? What were you going to say, Jeff? Uh, there, about people being smarter. There's already going to be people smarter that can get around all of that. Because you got to consider the people who would be instituting it compared to the people that would be using it. And that that's kind of also that brings in the, the whole thing about fucking anonymity again, you know, can you be anonymous? In which case, if you could be anonymous, then nobody has a right to privacy. Yeah, just leave it alone. Right. That, that's why I say it. If in order to, to stop fucking, you know, like people being able to hack and shit like that, like fucking, I mean, I'm sure that it, it's going to be a long standing fucking battle and shit, but there you know needs to be fucking actual uh, rights to privacy and shit and people that violate those rights need to be actually prosecuted within the real world the only way to actually do that is you would have to be able to figure out who the actual person is and with all the fucking anonymity that's that's available online i mean it's it's literally the wild west you know the internet it's it's 
Like, like I say, the internet, you know, technically can be a real place when it comes to fucking the, the hearts and souls of fucking people sh and, and shit right now. Uh, so it, it really does have real world consequences as we're seeing it's, it's an actual real fucking place, you know, even though it may just exist in a fucking ones and zeros that are just fucking floating through the ether. It's technically a real fucking place. So it really is kind of like the, the wild west right now in that place though, you know? I mean, it, you know, yeah, I mean, I guess it's the wild, wild west as far as that's concerned. But, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, you, you can be anonymous and still have the same protection as far as encryption is concerned. And geo tracking is way more accurate than like, you know, the media mainstream or whatnot likes to you know portray it as. I mean, there's people that are currently have been prosecuted and, you know, geo tracking used during the court proceedings to get a guilty conviction. It's, you know, the only time it doesn't work is when they're talking about, you know, ballots and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You know, geo tracking works pretty well. And even with uh, info, you know, um, um, encrypted, obviously geo tracking is a, a different monster altogether, man. So, you know, there would never be 100 percent privacy because of that. But that's your backup plan. Right? There. It's kind of your back door, I guess. And that's why I kind of could worry about, you know, because you know, obviously, fucking the, the government, they have a lot fucking more sophisticated fucking technology when it comes to the Internet and shit than they actually, you know, lead on. And they, they don't actually fucking pull it out until it's like some major fucking like court case or something like that. And then, you know, someone will be like, wait a minute, you guys were able to do that the whole fucking time? You know, like the whole fucking January 6th fucking prosecutions and shit like that, you know, uh, as compared yeah, uh, listen, to in the, in, in the comment, dude, he says, uh. How would you enforce someone outside the U.S. breaking new U.S. internet laws? It, that's why I don't really. Uh, it, the internet would have to be a, a worldwide thing. Well, actually, at the same time, too, uh, nations do have control over their what goes on in the mm -hmm. internet. As we see in Montana, you can't access. Well, I don't know if it's actually you know in place and shit yet, but they just they passed a bill. You can't fucking access TikTok in the state of fucking Montana. Like they, they could fucking control what actually you know, goes on within the, you know, their regional fucking uh, parts of the inner zones, you know, unless you got like VPNs and shit like that, you know, where, where you could pick where, you, where you'd like to be. And so, yeah, that VPN really throw a wrench in the, in the gears there. And uh, I use a VPN. I'm wherever the fuck I want to be whenever I want. Yep. And so not to mention like in Europe and shit, like how they make threats against Elon, like they'll take Twitter off in their country or what have you. You know, that's a, that's a prime example, man. And then also you have uh, the, the same entities using like sanctions and whatnot towards these companies, basically to where the, the funds you've raised in this country, you know, we're going to fucking tax the shit out of, you know what I mean? So there's, there's definitely ways, not, not with individuals, but carriers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Internet providers. I just had to retweet something for you guys. So, uh, yeah, I had to suffer. No, no, so do, so do you. Yeah, if I can, uh, I mean, VPNs are another thing that's going to kind of come into question. And, and that's really kind of the, well, the stuff that I worry about, you know, would VPNs become outlawed then? You know, I mean, because it's, it's essentially, you know, they if I can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I think I think you can still geo track even with a VPN. Like I'm sure as they far can. as like your 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 URL and shit will be different, like on the inner zones. But as far as the government geo tracking you, they're still capable. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, you know, fucking. Uh, so the the part that I really worry about is, like I said, it's it's not going to be like like you know the the Bill of Rights that our founding fathers wrote. It's going to be a modern you know bill of rights for a modern era and stuff and so it's going to be a type of thing that fucking protects feelings and shit like that and you know again it's it's going to be the type of thing that, that keeps people safe you know that's the whole fucking and right right now in the comment another question they saying um people coming from countries who don't have an extra uh, an extradition agreement with us you know that they'd still be free to scam people mm -hmm. but that, that's why i say the the way that that it's going to be is it's not going to be you know like uh, enshrining fucking you know uh anonymity and it's not going to be like enshrining fucking i mean it's it's going to be about controlling the internet you know it's, it's it's yeah but at the same time if we're trying to go for freedom to me like that's part of freedom like right you know what i mean freedom comes with risk freedom doesn't mean safety 
You know what I mean? And you can be scammed now. I mean, fuck, someone could call your phone and scam. They, I mean, they have you know viruses now that they'll send you an email you don't even have to open, I, and it, it'll fucking download viruses and shit. And that's why I say fucking freedom to the modern fucking you know political fucking establishment is a bad word. Like freedoms, freedoms fucking cool amongst us. Like we like to we like fucking the idea of freedom, but most fucking people, even in America these days, don't like the idea of freedom. You know. Like actual fucking freedom, you know, like like fucking, you know, wild, wild west fucking, you know, you get to be who you want to be and fucking all this and that type of shit. You know, even when it comes to the internet, you know, like, and we have people on both sides fucking arguing as per, you know, like, oh, we need to fucking block, you know, the, the fucking, the, the right wingers would have been just as fine with, you know, all these fucking lefties being blocked for fucking political reasons and shit. Uh, just as, as much as the lefties were, were totally fine with fucking conservatives being blocked and, uh, you know, censored, you know, it's, it's not like fucking, uh, you know, people are, are opining for fucking, or people are, people are, uh, you know, vying for, for freedom and shit right now. Everyone's fucking all about, you know, the, the modern America that we live in, it's institutionalized. Everyone in America is institutionalized. You know, nobody actually to an extent, wants freedom. I agree with you. I think there is a lot of people that want freedom. They just have different ideas of what freedom is, man. Right. You know what I mean? And like at the, the more right wing, our freedom is leave us alone. The far left is like, let me kill babies till they're 16. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just a different idea of what freedom is. Right. Uh, really, the, the the people that actually want like actual freedom and shit, you know, if I can, it, again, you know, like I said, it's it's not the the same idea of freedom, and uh, it's it's not it's it's freedom with safety, you know, it's freedom, with, <laughs> yeah, it's freedom with with fucking guardrails, you know, that, that that's the type of freedom that the overwhelming majority of people actually you know want, you know. If they were to rewrite the Bill of Rights today and shit, you know, as as we see, you know, with with fucking Gavin Newsom trying to introduce the Twenty Eighth Amendment, you know, like it's an amendment that, like, you know, it doesn't enshrine freedoms; it restricts freedoms. You know, that's that's completely fucking uncalled for in an amendment. That that's not an amendment; that's a law. You know, the fucking the Twenty Eighth Amendment. I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's basically just enshrining within the the United States Constitution that fucking we have you know background checks and fucking you can only be uh, you have to be twenty one to buy a gun now and fucking it's 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 literally just a whole bunch of fucking uh, restrictions on the Second Amendment. That's all that the Twenty Eighth Amendment is. It's literally the Twenty Eighth Amendment is an amendment that infringes on the Second Amendment. Like is it's, it's we're we're in fucking in clown world where basically you know the you know people are more than willing to sacrifice their initial liberties for you know the idea of safety that's why i say america is fully institutionalized you know everyone's freaking... it, it, and it's not it's not even just the safety thing either it's also easily misled right they want freedom so they're easily misguided it with little names and slogans kind of like the patriot act situation or the weed legaliza legalization here in Arizona that was actually 26 pages of restrictions. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And higher taxes and whatnot. And now you get a fucking DUI if you, you know, if you get pulled over and they, they test you and you test positive for weeds. You know what I mean? Whereas before it was legalized, most chances the cops just going to fucking, you know, dude, chuck that shit out the window. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like real shit, bro. So, you know, it's, Again, I mean, of course, there is people exactly like you're saying, institutionalized, completely re re. I'm not even going to hold back, completely fucking moronic, dude, right? That beg for their own fucking institutionalization and fucking, you know, like Guy says in the comment, gilded cage, right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, there, I think there's a lot more people and it's increasing every day that uh, actually want to tell the government to fuck you. That's why, is it? Especially with this mugshot coming out, and we fucking like I say, we got a fucking <laughs> martyr against the fucking government right now. You know, a, a lot of people yeah. fucking, especially people that have been through the fucking judicial <laughs> system in the way that Trump is going through right now. Obviously, not in the same way that Trump's going through, but basically, people that have been through the judicial system and you know have basically been in in a way <laughs> victimized by the fucking system and shit. You know, myself included. You know, I've been to prison, but it's basically it's uh, it's reflecting what it's a uh, um uh, resonating with with a lot of them right now you know like i said a lot of the people that would have never really you know thought of trump as as you know even 
being an option right now or actually fucking like coming around and shit like those fucking like all the the people in georgia you know they're just out there fucking on the trump or on the on the side of the road fucking watching the motorcade go by just fucking hauling out trump 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 you know i don't think the bug shot lost in any votes is the thing yeah (laughs) nobody nobody was on the trump train and then decided wow i guess this shit just got real real quick and i better i better get off I, I think I think they they really turned him into to kind of like an anti-hero figure on the left even you know like before he was just fucking the Hitler of the left you know like the, the left fucking he was his Hitler and shit you know I think with this whole mugshot coming out and shit they turned him into the anti-hero right now he's Lex Luthor dude right. <laughs> <laughs> terrible I guess yes. <laughs> It's pretty fucking hilarious, man. It, you know, it, it, they, he absolutely haunts their dreams, lives in their head rent free. Um, I had someone close to me recently kind of start to lose their cool and say, "You want Trump to win? You want this to be the last election in the histories of America?" <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I dude, are you shitting me? I mean, not not only is that clown world thinking, but the dude's fucking like 80, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. You know how they say mm-hmm. fucking uh, you know, the two emotions that you know basically rule everything is fucking you know love and fear. You know, basically everything is based off of either love or fear. Like I think you know that's that's really kind of even politics. I think fucking the left the left is based off of fear. You know, they're based off of fear of you know fucking not having enough food, so I need to borrow some of yours. You know, they're they're based off of fear of because <laughs> essentially you know they're they're the, in the the slave and master morality of Nietzsche and shit. They're the the slave fucking mentality you know and i think on the 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 right you know they're they're more you know kind of uh run by by love you know they're more fucking jesus and bible thumper and shit like that and it's it's not so much that you know they're you know i'm holier than thou really a lot of the people that are kind of like you know i I guess fucking you know religious for for the right reasons and shit they do it out of love you know like a lot of these people that are against the trans movement and shit right now it's not because they hate trannies it's because they you know hate seeing people do harm to themselves you know it's because you know they 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 love humanity so much that they hate seeing people that are in such a fucking you know horrible mental state and they're just being fucking led on and you know all this and that type shit and they're being brainwashed like you know it's i think fucking that's really their their kind of uh and they you know they just want to to build a fucking you know better community and shit and you know they want fucking people to to just get along and they just want fucking people to just you know you have your spot i have my spot you know fucking we'll be neighbors and that and that's it you know fucking but on the the left you know they're they're led by by fear you know like fucking you know you live over there i live over here we'll be neighbors i'll borrow your shit every fucking weekend you know like that that's (laughs) (laughs) i think uh i think a lot of people get uh, the word freedom confused with their own personal happiness. And so they're, you know, equating the two when, uh, like Swine said about, uh, um, you know, the illusion of safety and without guardrails, you know, freedom with guardrails versus without. Those guardrails are freedom if they lead to your own personal happiness. Mm-hmm. It just not necessarily someone else's. That's freedoms, though, comes right along with being pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> you got your right to suck my I'm not fucked. Because that's basically all I got. Hey, thank you guys for checking out this clip from the Liberty Bowl podcast. Make sure you guys stop by here every Friday night at 10 p.m. Arizona time. We'll be uh, getting stoned, talking about, uh, you know, the latest politics of the week, the latest news of the week, you know, everything going on within the culture and uh, as always we'll be smoking some herb having a good time so if you guys would make sure you guys hit that like button that subscribe button and make sure you guys check out one of these other videos popping up up here and as always fuck off